So within Network Sims, there's various exercises that we can do. So in this case, we have a topology set up, and we must now go through each of the challenge parameters. So in this case, we set up router 1 to have a host name of Louisiana. Router 2 to have a host name, in this case, of Highland. And so on. So once these all disappear, then we should be able to complete the challenge. Look at the diagram anytime if we want to, and we can generate a new challenge as as we need. So we also have a, a number of completed topologies. So in this case, the whole of the network has been created, such as this. So what we should be able to do is to go to each device and ping the other ports and do a trace route. So let's go to router 1 and we'll ping 10.0.1 which is our own port and we'll, then we'll ping 10.0.2 which is the other port. Okay, so we've just pinged from here to here and on router 2 Let's go into our E0 interface. Uh, we'll do a shutdown. Let's try and re-ping that interface and we'll see it's actually done. Okay, so we can do a trace route to certain ports. In this case, let's do a trace route to 192.168.0.2. And it should tell us the route that it takes to get there. OK, so the final thing that uh, we can look at is we can look at our topologies. So these are pre-prepared topologies that are already set up. So in this case it's three routers. And we can also look at fault finding. So in this case there's an incorrect IP address on one of the router ports. So the answer is here. So don't reveal the answer until you've actually traced the, the fault. So with this you can then ping and actually find where the problem is. So we would normally go to one of the hosts, possibly, and then do a trace route and see if we can actually find out where the, the fault is. So at the end of it, once you find where the fault is, you should be able to go to R4, in this case, E0, as an incorrect IP address on it. Okay, so these are a number of basic faults that we can get on the on the device.